good day option po Linians and peace to all. I am Ms. Rosanna Quintos Ricafort from the Health Services Department. Welcome to our session where we will be talking about something very important and familiar already, yet never fades to be useful. Join us as we ask the Lord for blessing and guidance. Let us pause for a moment to be ready for our prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Lord God, thank you so much for giving us another day to study and prepare for a good life in the future. Thank you for giving us the chance to continue learning amidst the pandemic which caused a lot of changes in our lives. Bless our parents who work hard to support us. Bless our teachers who are doing their best to inspire and guide us especially in these trying times. Bless our country and the people who continue fighting to stop the pandemic. Lord, fill us with your wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Give us good memory so that we might understand and remember what we are going to study now. These we pray in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Our Lady of Peace and Good Voyage, pray for us. St. Paul, our patron, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay, so let's start. As I have mentioned earlier in today's session, we will be discussing about something familiar and useful that prevents the spread of diseases. By frequently washing your hands, we eliminate germs we may have picked up from contaminated surfaces. The diseases that affect us, including you, school children, may be caused by a lack of proper hygiene. It is crucial to stress the importance of hand washing, especially at this time of the pandemic but also because attention should be given on its effects on your physical and mental development, which might affect your attendance, performance, and even quality of health. Harmful microorganisms such as virus and bacteria can be found everywhere, and it can also live on surfaces for hours. We use our hands to touch things, just like in the picture, Door handles are among the common surfaces that are contaminated with germs, together with light switches, handrails, and believe it or not, our mobile phones and gadgets. We are truly facing the chain of infection. Let us watch the following video as we learn how fast transmission of germs in the community happens. Justin had an awesome weekend. Now that it's Monday morning, he's taken the good vibes into the office and surprising his work pals with donuts. Problem is, tasty treats aren't the only thing he's about to share. <coughs> Justin doesn't know it, but he picked up a germ at a concert last week. Now he's sprinkled his donut box, his hands, and the office door with those germs. In real time, as Justin says good morning to John, and Ashley grabs her favorite Boston cream, those germs have hitched a ride onto two new hosts. With a rub of the eyes and a gulp, they're through the human front door and ready to get down to the business of making people sick. <coughs> a little later, George comes with the mail. Justin offers him a donut, and with a tickle in his throat, turns his head to cough. <coughs> Justin says bye to George and leaves more germs behind. George starts making his deliveries, and as you can see, there's no return to sender on Justin's leave behind. All it takes is a touch of the germy mail, and then a touch of the mouth, nose, or eyes for a person to become infected. 
When it's time to call it a day, Ashley brings the infection onto the train. She hasn't washed her hands in hours. The germs covering them make a pit stop on the grab bar before finding a home on some new hands. A few cars over, Justin is coughing again. In these tight quarters, that's bad news. He and his fellow passengers get off the train and head to their homes. The spread continues. But what if Justin's morning had gone more like this? A sneeze into the elbow. And then some hand sanitizer to be safe. A cough into a <coughs> tissue. And a good job throwing it away and washing hands. Coworkers don't touch their eyes, noses, or mouths, no matter what. By following those steps, Justin's germs could have stayed away and slowed the pace of the spread. This is Justin, our primary character in the video. He was the one who started the spread of virus, but take note, unknowingly. He does not know he picked up a germ on a concert he went to. And even if he meant well, as he wanted to share the donuts with his co-workers, he also unintentionally shared the virus. The people he had an encounter with may get infected by doing the following things touched hands with his co-worker as he greeted good morning, with a gulp or eating the contaminated donut, touching of contaminated surfaces, the mail, the grab bar on the train as they have their way home, and of course, as they did so, they touched or rubbed their eye, nose, or mouth, giving the virus a portal to enter their bodies. Can this transmission of germs be prevented or at least minimized? Yes, absolutely. If only the following happened or they practiced the following health protocols, sneeze on elbow as we use the inner side of our elbow less, making the instances of spreading the virus less as well. The use of sanitizer or alcohol in the event that we do not have access to hand washing. Cough on a tissue to cover the mouth and the nose to be able to catch the secretions and disposing it properly to prevent other people from accidentally touching it. And also, do proper hand washing with soap and water. Avoid touching eyes, nose, or mouth as viruses usually take those routes to enter the body. And of course, as with what we are experiencing now, it is necessary to practice social distancing or simply maintaining physical distance or enough space to prevent the spread of the virus. Again, the virus mainly spreads when someone breathes, talks, coughs, or sneezes, which sends tiny droplets into the air. People standing nearby can get these droplets into their eyes, nose, or mouth, or they can simply breathe them in. When there's at least a meter between people, these droplets are more likely to fall onto the ground rather than on other people. Because infected people may not have symptoms, just like Justine in the video, it is best to keep a safe distance whenever you are around other people that you do not live with. And the best thing to do? Stay home to lessen the risk of exposure. We have mentioned to avoid touching our eyes, nose, and mouth to prevent giving viruses and bacteria entry to our body. To be safe enough, avoid touching your face entirely. Unfortunately, it might be difficult as we are used to doing that. Subconsciously, we might not know that we are already touching parts of our face. One thing to battle those slips of touching the face area is to perform frequent, proper hand washing. And how would that help? Let's watch the following video. You know that the best way to prevent the spread of coronavirus is to wash your hands. Wash your hands! But why? 
It's because soap, regular soap, fancy honeysuckle soap, artisan peppermint soap, just any soap absolutely annihilates viruses like the coronavirus. Here's how. This is what a virus like coronavirus looks like. It's a bit of material surrounded by a coating of proteins and fat. Viruses easily stick to places like your hands, but when you rinse your hands with just water, it rushes right over the virus. That's because that layer of fat makes the virus behave kind of like a drop of oil. You can see it happening in this demonstration. Oils are just liquid fats. What happens when you pour oil into water? It floats. It doesn't mix. But add soap. And suddenly that fatty oil dissolves into the water. That's because inside, soap has two-sided molecules. One end of the molecule is attracted to water, the other end to fat. So when the soap molecules come in contact with water and fat, these dual attractions literally pull the fat apart, surrounding the oil particles and dispersing them through the water. Let's go back to our coronavirus molecule with that layer of fat holding everything together. When it interacts with soap, bam, that fat gets pulled out by the soap. Soap literally pulls apart and demolishes these viruses. And then the water rinses the harmless leftover shards of virus down the drain. But, and you know where I'm going with this, it takes time for this effect to happen. 20 seconds to be specific. To show why, we ordered this lotion that mimics viruses in their fatty layers. It glows under a UV light. If you just rinse your hands under regular water, nothing comes off. If you wash with soap for just five seconds or 10 seconds, your hands are still covered. The virus is still there, able to get you and others sick. But 20 full seconds, now the soap is actually destroying the virus. Hand sanitizer works too, because it's mostly alcohol. And alcohol works in a somewhat similar way to soap, breaking down that fatty layer. You need a high concentration of alcohol to make that work. The CDC recommends hand sanitizers with at least 60% alcohol. But even with 60% alcohol, the CDC recommends using soap if you can. If your hands are sweaty or dirty when you use the sanitizer, that can dilute it and diminish its effectiveness. As for soap, just any old soap works. You don't need soap marketed as antibacterial even. The FDA says skip it. There's no proof it's any more effective. Just be sure to wash your hands for 20 seconds. That's happy birthday twice. Mm -hmm. Happy birthday, dear, I guess me. Or the chorus to Lizzo's Truth Hurts. Straight to my face. Or Prince. Raspberry Beret. Or Eminem. Go, go, only go. Or even Dolly. Jolie, Jolie, Jolie. Just as long as it's 20 seconds. And you're using the ultimate virus annihilator, soap. How does proper hand washing helps protect you from viruses? When we say proper, this includes soap and water, as well as ample time for the whole procedure of hand washing. Soap destroys the layer of the virus, destroying the virus as well. But it needs enough time to do that. So, how long should we wash our hands with soap and water? It should be at least 20 seconds to be able to provide enough time to cover all the areas in our hands and wash them thoroughly. And remember, any type of soap works. In the event that we cannot easily access the lavatory to wash, we can use temporarily alcohol-based sanitizers or simply alcohol with at least 60% concentration. That is according to CDC, or the Center for Disease Control and Prevention, which is a national health institution in the United States. I said temporarily because alcohol works similarly in destroying the virus, but proper hand washing can never ever be replaced. As you apply the alcohol-based sanitizer or alcohol, you do so just like you are washing your hands, taking time to cover all the surfaces of your hands. There are several practical measures you can take to protect yourself from the new coronavirus. 
One of the most important is regular, safe and effective hand hygiene. Using soap and water or alcohol-based hand wrap. Here are the steps recommended by WHO to follow. You too can have safe and clean hands anywhere. Now I'm calling on the world to take the WHO Safe Hands Challenge to be ready for coronavirus. The WHO or the World Health Organization encourages us to perform proper hand washing, making sure to include different surfaces of our hands. This includes the palm, the fingers, and the outer side of the thumb, the spaces between your fingers, and don't forget, underneath your nails, which makes it a very good spot for beading of bacteria, and of course, your wrist. Always remember, to rinse and dry your hands thoroughly as you finish the procedure of hand washing because some bacteria remain on hands after washing as it is impossible to eliminate 100% of those germs and these are more easily spread via wet hands than dry ones then you also use the paper towel that you used in drying your hands to turn off the tap this is to prevent you from touching again the faucet that you have touched before washing In the current situation that we are in, we struggle to stay healthy amidst the coronavirus pandemic. I know you have heard and learned different information regarding the outbreak, and one of the most common precautions we follow is wearing a face mask. To serve as a reminder for us, let's have a simple video clip in a Filipino language from Umagang Kay Ganda, a program by a local network. Uh, malamang may mga mask na kailangan sa hotel. Whether it is coronavirus, uh, mm -hmm. NCOV, or other kind of viruses, rhinovirus mm -hmm. for that matter, importante po, protection na natin yung ating sarili. Okay. Okay? Pinaka-importante po muna, malinis sa kamay. Malinis sa kamay. Mm -hmm. no? Napakarami pong sakit na pwedeng makuha po sa maruming kamay. Ito po ang pinakamarumi sa atin po. So, na pero hindi yung... Nailipat yan. Hindi na basta yung hugas-hugas lang, no? Hindi pwedeng hugas. Usually, uh -huh. ang sabi ng mga eksperto, dapat ang mga 20 seconds mong naghugas ka ng kamay, una mm -hmm. muna, syempre, uh, tubig, tapos uh, sabon. sabon, kailangan mabula. Okay, after that, so, palad likod, sa palad muna, palad do. muna, palad muna, palad tapos, muna, likod ng dito palad. muna, okay, mm -hmm. tapos dito Kabila. rin, okay, oh. tapos, uh, lahat, lahat uh, ganyan, uh, yung kuko, ganyan, sabad ganyan. Ng kuko. tapos yung kuko, uh -oh. okay, kuko, yung thumb, thumb yung thumb po natin, mm -hmm. ganyan, dapat free, uh, free, free flow of water, okay, okay. hindi nakadaw-daw lang sa kung ano, hindi, hindi mo dapat, naka free flow, naka ganyan ka lang talaga, oh. ngayon, kung sasarahan mo, gamitin mo yung siko mo, oh, Sarado mo yan. Kasi malinis ganun. na Kasi malinis na ito eh. Di ba? Okay, ganun. Pag balis na ito, ito naman po ngayon, ang pinaka-common cause kasi ng paglipat po, respiratory or droplets. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, bahing, laway, hatching, ubo. Okay. Okay? So, ngayon, kung ang kaharap mo may ganung sakit, uh -huh. ano gagawin mo ngayon? Paano? Di ba? 
eh, gumamit ka na ng... Pero, ng, okay. doc, ito, kasi ito N95 mask, pero merong ganito rin surgical na mask. surgical mask. Ano oh. ba yung mas effective? Okay. Kung, uh, actually, ito yung, ito yung nare-recommend. Mm, N95. N95, N95, because it blocks 95% of the particulate matter, okay? okay? N is resistant to oil particulate matter. When you say oil, kung ang pupunta mo ay mayroong pesticide or may mga solvents, dapat ito gamit, uh, hindi ito ang maganda. Dapat yung R95, mm -hmm. okay? Ah, uh, oh, may N95, okay. may R95. Ang N stands uh, not for? Not resistant to oil. Not oil, resistant. resistant to oil particulate. So for example, yung mga Uh, yung mga pesticide. For example, napunta kasi sa lugar na mm. nagbuga ng mga uh, 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 mel uh, uh, melatayong, malatayong, gano'n. Hindi pwede mong gamitin to. Hindi niya pa ka ito dito, uh, Papasok dito. Papasok dito. 95%. Pero kung mga, mga virus, yung mga uh, ganyang bacteria, napakaganda po nito ay 95%. May tama Sana daw oil. pag susuot oh, oh. ng uh, surgical okay. mask. Kaso ngayon, uh, uh, mahal, mura. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> ito po, ang dapat po nasa harap. Bakit? Ito po. Kung mapapansin niyo po, Uh, andito po yung pinaka uh, yung pinaka filter po nila yung kulay blue. Okay. Mm -hmm. so, pagka ginamiyam ganyan, oo. At the same time, para malaman mo, para malaman mo, ito dapat ang hindi mo hahawakan. Hindi ah. mo dapat hahawakan to eh. Kasi dito po mapasok po yung hangin, okay? Uh -oh. Siya magbablock, uh -oh. okay? Now, kaso nga lang, the filtration efficiency uh -oh. dito ay napakababa. Uh -oh. okay. Okay. About 50 to 55% lang yung filtration efficiency. Para tumaas pa ang filtering power, eto na. Okay. Tissue. Maglalagay ka ng, ng dalawang facial apply ng dalawang facial tissue. Okay. Okay. Lalagyan mo siya. Kung makikita mo, di ba, dalawang apply ng tissue. Uh -uh. I-doblehin mo pa para mas lalo pang kumapal. Mm. Okay? Ah, para tumaas pa yung iba? filtration ka pa. Para hindi na ako makalingan yan, Do. Ano <laughs> Actually, matama yung sinabi mo, Tito Winnie, ha? Hindi po lahat tayo ay pwedeng gumamit nito. Mm -hmm. Kung tayo po may sakit sa puso, may hika, may empisima, may bronchitis, medyo ingat po kayo kasi lalo pa kayo mahirap ang huminga. Mm -hmm. Magka problema tayo. Ito na. Dapat ito pong kulay blue. Ayan. Ito po ang nakaharap. Okay? Dapat po itong matigas sa bagay dito. It will pinch your nose bridge. Mm -hmm. Okay? So, ilalagay mo ngayon ito. Di ba? Okay? Naka-anchor yan dyan. Naka-anchor. Okay. 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 Naka-anchor na ganyan. Okay mga kaibigan. Dapat nakababa ito. Ha? Huh? Ah, ibababa pa. Kailangan kasi, kailangan kasi, walang papasok po, walang open space na papasok. Pasilin hmm. pumasok po yung e, mga virus. Eh, di ang ko lang, Dok, yung sarili kong hininga, okay. gano'n. <laughs> Ibabawa mo naman, ate, medyo social lang. Ibabawa na kaunti puti. Dapat hindi makita mo siya yung puti. Yan, medyo. Ah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pero pwede bang i-recycle to, Dok? Ay, hindi ito. Uh -oh. Hindi ito. 8 to 10 hours lang dapat ito. Tapos papalitan na dapat. Ay, sabihin, isang gamitan lang yan. Disposable to, eh. Ay, disposable, ano? Mm. Uh, disposable to. Uh, pero kung ikaw lang kasi ang gumagamit, At Ay, nasa... hindi pwedeng hiraman. Ay, wag naman, wag naman. <laughs> Ibang sakit yung maipapasa. Ito, ito, disposable din to. Disposable Pero pwede din. mo itong, itong gamitin as long as hindi pa siya deformed. Uh -oh. At pwede pa siya matakpan yung... Buo. Yung, uh, dapat buo talaga yung okay. ilong at bibig. Okay. Sige, okay. doon, last na lang, last na lang direct. Mm -hmm. Yung paggamit ng alcohol at mga sanitizer. Okay. Ay importante po ang sabon na tubig. Oh, oh, Kung pero, walang sabon na tubig, 70% alcohol. Yun. In particular, 70%, hindi 40%. Ayan. Okay. 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 Kinakilang po, alcohol-based ah, ah, ang, okay. ang ating pong hand sanitizer. Mm -hmm. Okay? Pero sabi naman, Dok, di ba pag malakas naman ang resistensya mo, di mo naman na kailangan Actually, yun ang importante sa lahat. At the, back, at the end of the day, yung Ilo? immune system naturalize palakas, po, eh. pinaka importante palakas oh. yung oh. vitamins, masustansya ang pagkain, oh, oh. sa patadami ng oras ang pagtulog, yun ang pinaka importante. Ah, pag may Sint Thomas na, kailangan diretso na agad diretso sa doktor. Na Very good. Maraming salamat, Maraming salamat Dok. Ray Salinel, ang you, ating infectious disease expert. Thank you. To be on guard with the coronavirus, we have to stay as healthy as we can be. This is to have a high immune system to fight diseases naturally. It helps if we would eat nutritious food to achieve a balanced diet, drink lots of water around 8 to 10 glasses per day, have enough amount of sleep, exercise, and be active. If you could notice in the video, hand washing was also mentioned being the primary and the most effective precautionary measure against illnesses. We can never stress enough its importance. Different videos regarding hand washing technique can be seen on the internet and they may vary with one another. But what is important is for us to follow the essentials of hand washing for it to serve its purpose. That is to protect us, our family, and the people around us. Option Polinians, let us join the hashtag Safe Hands Challenge.
As we close today's session, let us offer a prayer to God. Let us be still as we prepare. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Pope Francis has asked the world to unite in praying in our Father all at the same time for the victims of the coronavirus. EWTN invites you to join with us now in this prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Our Lady of Peace and Good Voyage, pray for us. St. Paul, our patron, pray for us. Caritas Christi, Urgent Nos, now and forever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you very much for being with us today. Thank you. See you again.